Again, welcome to day two of our Novena to St. Therese. Now, we are praying this Novena for the intention of growing in trust of the Father. And I'm especially offering up this Novena for the intention of the Mindfulness Course, which is going to start on October 1st on St. Therese's Feast Day. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ, two graces I beg of you before I die. The first is that in my lifetime I might feel, in my soul and in my body, as far as possible, that sorrow which you, sweet Jesus, endured in the hour of your most bitter passion. The second is that I might feel in my heart, as far as possible, the abundance of love with which you, Son of God, were inflamed, so as to willingly endure so great a passion for us sinners. Holy Spirit, come and be with us. Fill our hearts and ignite in us the fire of divine love. Send forth your spirit that we might be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Blessed Virgin, full of grace, you lived in Nazareth, content in lowly poverty. Most beautiful Queen, whose life was not enriched by raptures, miracles, and ecstasies, we lift up our eyes to you in confident appeal with countless little souls upon this earth. Best of mothers, be our guide upon the common road to light and life. Remain with us always. St. Therese, privileged little flower of Jesus and Mary, we approach you with the confidence of a child. We lay before you our desires and beg that through your intercession they might be realized. Grant us, according to your promise, to spend your heaven doing good upon the earth the favors we are asking from you. Dear little saint, now that you see the crucified Jesus in heaven still bearing the wounds caused by sin, you know still more clearly than you did on earth the value of souls and the priceless worth of that precious blood which he shed to save them. Obtain for us, a child of whom Christ died, all the graces we need in order to profit by that precious blood. Make all things lead us to God. May all of creation speak to us of the love and power of God. And like you, may we daily love him more and more. Writings from the St. Therese for Day 2. Every artist is pleased when his works are appreciated. I see now that true charity consists in bearing with the faults of those about us, never being surprised at their weaknesses, but edified at the least sign of virtue. I must seek out the company of the sisters, who, naturally speaking, repel me, and be their good Samaritan. So not to waste my time and trouble, I try to do everything to give pleasure only to our Lord. How much the divine teachings run contrary to our natural feelings. Without the aid of grace, it would be impossible even to understand them, let alone practice them. I know that whenever I am charitable, it is Jesus alone who is acting through me, and that the more closely I unite myself to him, the more I will be able to love all my sisters. We should judge our neighbor favorable in every circumstance and make it become a habit of ours to overlook his faults. Just as we almost spontaneously give ourselves the benefit of the doubt, let us also make this an integral factor of our relations with those about us. What peace floods the soul when one rises above natural feelings? Most dear sister, St. Therese, you put the love of God into practice and became an expert at charity, displayed so clearly in your interactions with your sisters in religious life. You understood the psychology of community life because of your intimate relationship with the Most Holy Trinity. And what was so difficult for you by nature became easy and sweet by grace. We are also called to a life of heroic charity, especially for our brothers and sisters, especially in our families. And so we ask now for your intercession to obtain for us the grace to understand and put into practice the charity taught by our Lord and modeled by your life. 
O Lord, who has said, Unless you become as little children, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven, grant us, we beg you, so as to follow in humility and simplicity of heart the footsteps of the Blessed Virgin Therese, that we might attain to an everlasting reward. Amen. St. Therese of Lisieux, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.